Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how do you choose between sin, cos or tan. So here's a triangle that we've got. And first I'm going to notice that it's a right angled triangle. So when we decide, is it sin, cos or tan? The first thing you have to do is to label the sides. The longer side, still the hypotenuse. So I'm going to let uh, I'm going to write that down. Here's the hypotenuse. It's the longest side. The other two sides, we're going to label with the words adjacent and opposite. All right. So your three sides are called hypotenuse, adjacent, or opposite. And the way we work it out is we look at which side is next to, so basically it's touching, the angle. When I say the angle, it's the angle that is not the 90 degree one, but the one which is labelled. So not 90 degrees and it's labelled. This angle here. You, you can use this one if you want. You could figure out what that is. But we've labelled at 30 degrees. We're going to use this angle. And the side next to this angle is the 10 centimetre side. So that is your adjacent. Now, we know that the adjacent is not this side because this one's already been named. It's already got a name. We did that first. So the other side touching the 30 degrees adjacent. The one that's left over, this one, is called the opposite side. And you can see it sort of makes sense. This side is opposite the angle. But if you follow the sides in order, do the hypotenuse first then the side which is next to, it's touching the angle, and then the third side opposite the angle. So now we've labelled the sides, we have to choose, is it going to be sin, cos or tan in this question? And here you go back to your three ratios, which hopefully uh, you wrote down earlier. Here they are. And we compare these three formulas, these three ratios, to the sides that we know and care about. So we know what the adjacent side is, it's 10. 10 centimetres, we know that. We know that the hypotenuse side is labelled X, that's the one we care about. So we're going to have that. Opposite side, at the moment, we don't know, don't really care. Let's just ignore it. So then you go to your three ratios and you look to see which ones have hypotenuse and adjacent. So which ones feature hypotenuse and also adjacent? It's going to be that one. So your answer will be cos. So here's our answer. Cos angle. And we're going to use this symbol here for the angle, Greek letter theta. Cos angle equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And now I'm going to write down the numbers and letters that we know. We know that the angle is 30 degrees. So I replace the angle symbol with 30 degrees. I know the adjacent is 10. So I replace A with 10. I know the hypotenuse is letter X. So I write letter X like this. Sometimes if you're doing this on your calculator, it will expect some brackets around the angle. That's fine. Obviously on your calculator, you don't have to press anything for degrees. Your calculator should already be in degrees mode. So this is our chosen formula. There it is. And in our next video, we're going to learn how do you solve this to find out how many centimetres that hypotenuse is actually going to be? 
So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Bye.